but it ain't happened yet. Hollywood Henderson was lucky enough to play in three Super Bowls with the Cowboys. His drug addiction did force him to sell all three of his Super Bowl rings to pay for his habit. He did manage to get one back, though. Mozart's opera, The Marriage of Figaro, is one of the most popular arias we play here on WQED-FM. But it's not nearly as racy as J.R. Ewing's Marriage on Dallas Tonight. I think that's reaching a little bit, Jim. <laughs> when we come back, we will meet J.R.'s new bride right after the Phantom Diner haunts Monroeville. yourself in one of these magnificent furs. You could spend a lifetime dreaming about it, or you can make that dream come true. Now at Burlington Coat Factory. Burlington sells magnificent furs like those you see at the finest furriers, but at far lower prices. And there's a great selection of furs on sale. Right now, Burlington has a special sale price of only $17.89 on this magnificent let-out mink coat. The fur you've been dreaming about costs less at Burlington Coat Factory. This Christmas, we promise you can wrap up low prices on gifts. Like the new Presto Salad Shooter, discounted over 40% every day. A compact electric slicer and shredder. The Salad Shooter is just $24.86 every day at Hills. That's an exceptional value. We promise nobody beats Hills. Because if you can find a lower advertised price, bring in the ad. We'll match it. Hills has low prices every day and the whole store to prove it. Check this out. Well, Merry Christmas. Running a little late this year. Don't worry, I've got everything ready for you, just the way you like it. Here you go, nice and hot. Christmas already. Say, how's the missus? That's great. And the little ones? Super. Here's something for the road, and here's a little treat for our friends outside. Hey, you forgot your hat. Merry Christmas. I recently materialized at a quaint spot in Monroeville called Birdie's, 4733 William Penn Highway, for a taste of a Pittsburgh original, the Italian egg roll. The unique appetizer is filled with sausage, meatballs, hot peppers, onions, mozzarella cheese in an egg roll wrapper and plunged into the deep fryer. It's served on a bed of satiny marinara. Mamma mia, what a great egg roll. If you're tired of pizza with formica pepperoni and rubbery mushrooms, save room for a Birdie's designer pie, the pizza resistance, as it were. Layered on thin, crisp crust is everything from medallions of lobster tail to a quartet of cheeses. Birdie's also serves up some of the most innovative Italian dishes around, like an Italian grill, beef tenderloin, pizzaiola, lamb chop, and veal romano, molto bene. Pasta twirled with salmon is just one of the possibilities. But my favorite is Italian surf and turf, brajoli teamed with a lobster tail in a light egg batter garnished with grapes and slivered almonds. Now you see why birdies made my palate go tweet, tweet, tweet. Out of a possible five, it rates a big four stars. In the spirit of good dining, I am the Phantom Diner, wishing you a palatable good night. Thanks, Phantom. But if now, you have a taste for classical music, you can phone 621-6900 and make your pledge to WQED-FM. The listener-supported station will throw in Pittsburgh Magazine for a year. You get a classic card and this handsome KDKA WQED tote bag. Joe Berwanger on one I'll side, Cece Summers on the other. If Dallas is your bag, then you're not going to want to miss JR's wedding tonight on Dallas. Evening Magazine's Mike Jarrett talked with the new bride, actress Kathy Podwell. Maybe you saw Kathy Podwell's first movie. Night of the Demons. Wow. <laughs> Missed that one, eh? How about her first TV appearance on Lady Blue? I was killed um, in that show by Johnny Depp Ooh. in 21 Jump Street. I think they sliced me off. 
something disgusting like that. So you didn't catch that one either. Well, tonight, Kathy's got her best chance at imprinting her face onto our gray matter when her character, backwoods waitress Callie Harper, becomes the next Mrs. J.R. Ewing. I couldn't think of anything finer than to have a beautiful young woman like you for my very own. To find out what's going to happen on Dallas in the near future, we consulted the hallowed pages of the National Enquirer, which said J.R. would try to run out on Callie. I just want to ask you about I something. You! <laughs> no, no, seriously. Look, I, I, I want to read a couple things here, too. Yeah, have you seen this, God. by the way? Yeah, I have. Yeah? <laughs> I'm blushing. I'm like, whoosh, red. Well, you should be. Yeah. Oh, uh, it says here, mm -hmm. it describes what goes on here. Now, you're in the, the honeymoon chamber, apparently, with JR uh -huh. at some point here, like you described earlier. Yeah. And there's a dog barking at JR, and you yell out at JR. Callie urges JR to come back to bed. JR looks at the nasty dog and the beautiful Callie. Uh -huh. You're the beautiful Callie. I am. You're beautiful. not the nasty dog. No. He shrugs his shoulders and goes back to bed. <laughs> what are you going to do? Dog? Girl. Dog. dog. <laughs> Here, girl. Kathy. <laughs> I, I say, yeah, okay, yeah. JR's not, not stupid, is he? <laughs> Kathy also confirmed the tabloid report that in a future episode, J.R. and Sue Ellen would get into a knockdown, dragout fight about their own divorce and J.R.'s remarriage. But will Callie be staying on at South Fork? Or will Kathy Podwell join J.R.'s other exes at that big luncheon in the sky? Watch TV and the tabloids to find out. The whole steamy story of J.R.'s wedding is on Dallas tonight at 9 p.m. right here on KDKA TV 2. Now's a great time to call 621-6900 and pledge your support to WQED-FM. And when we return, there's a great story about adopting greyhounds as pets. Polo isn't just a game. It's a tradition, a way of life. Lauren. The Polo Classic Terry Robe is yours for $30 with any purchase of $16 or more. Available at Horns. Christmas shopping. Where to go, what to buy. But this year, look how much I got in one store. The AT&T Phone Center. Oh, wait till mom sees this. An AT&T memory telephone, just $74.95. And for Uncle Bob, an AT&T typewriter, just $199.95. And I got free AT&T long-distance gift certificates, too. All my problems are solved. Except one. Excuse me, where's the door? I have no idea. The biggest surprises come with the littlest prices at your AT&T phone center. The right choice. Mom! Hey, Mom! Look at the people left in the yard! Look what they left me in the kitchen. Yuck. Guess I know who moves in first. Mr. Clean. Oh, Baldy himself. Uh-oh. Mr. Clean cleans tough dirt and grime right to the shine with no dulling film. Do your stuff, big guy. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Well, let's start on the rest of the house. Couldn't we just live in the kitchen? Mr. Clean leaves nothing behind but the shine. Before we turn up the heat in the National League East, we're going to turn up the heat in the Caribbean with some of our fans. Hi, I'm Jim God of the Pittsburgh Pirates, here to tell you there is still time to join the Pirate players aboard the Holland Americas, New Amsterdam, January 21st through 28th. We'll be visiting sunny Cozumel, Sandy Ocho Rios, and the Grand Cayman on the first ever Pirate Celebration. Call Travel King of Pittsburgh at 412-471-6686. They'll provide all the exciting details. Here's proof that we still know a good animal story when we see one. What happens when a greyhound's racing days are over? Too often these animals are destroyed, even at a young age. But now there's a group that's helping these animals start new lives as pets. They're agile, powerful, and fast. The quickest canines in the world. Reaching speeds of over 40 miles an hour, these dogs can outrun thoroughbred horses. But what most of us don't know about these majestic animals is that every year, nearly 50,000 of them between the ages of 2 and 5 are retired from the track. That's like you or me retiring at the age of 35. Only for these dogs, there are no golden years. 
Well, unfortunately, a lot of them are euthanized. Um, some of them, as I understand, or quite a few of them are sold to medical research. And some of them are kept for breeding, but not that many. And it's just unfortunate that there's just so many of them that just don't come to a good end at all. Judy Lease, along with an organization called Greyhound Pets of America, is out to spread the word that after these pups retire, they can be adopted and are eager to make the transition from hot commodity to warm, loving pet. People have the misconception, in general, that they are vicious and aggressive and very high strung, and that's not the case at all. They have wonderful temperaments. They are very social. They love children. They love other animals. Uh, they can grow even to get along with cats and rabbits. Now, dogs, as a rule, tend to be very loyal and grateful to their owner, but greyhounds seem even more appreciative, even starved for affection. Judy says the reason for this can be found in the time they spent as racers. They pretty much live in a small crate with a concrete floor. I understand, for the most part, they're wooden crates, and for that reason, uh, they're kept just about all the time with muzzles on. But after they've been in a person's home and their new home for a while, it seems like they're the most grateful creatures. And that's, you know, it's so wonderful to see that. It may seem like a big adjustment for the dog, but according to Judy, they seem to adapt just fine to a more relaxed lifestyle. They're basically very lazy dogs. You know, they'd much rather be home cuddling up to you or in something soft, the softest thing you'll let them sleep on in your house. Uh, you really only need to exercise them maybe once or twice a week, even in a small enclosed area. Judy is pretty choosy about humans, too. Not just anyone can adopt one of her greyhounds. And once she's satisfied you'll be a good owner, it can take a while to get the dog of your dreams. But for the Sereno family, who waited nearly two months, it was worth the time invested. <gasps> She's beautiful. She's going to make a great pet. Look at her. Oh, she's better than I could have hoped. Funny. Now, naturally, it's a matter of personal preference when it comes to choosing a pet. But if you ask Judy for advice, she'll tell you to go Greyhound. There isn't a mean bone in their bodies. There really is not a mean bone in their bodies. They are just such nice animals. 566 ASAP is our evening magazine information line, and if you call that number, we'll give you information on how you can adopt a greyhound as a pet. And the number to call to keep classical music on the radio is 621-6900-WQED-FM. And Jim, tell me how we get these tote bags once more. Well, all you have to do is pledge $60. It's a beautiful tote bag. It is. Think, Liz? A limited edition, and while supplies last, you can get one for a $60 pledge. Liz Miles, I can't tell you what a pleasure it is to be with you. Well, thank you. It was great having you helping out tonight. And I'd like to invite all of you to join me on Monday night. Evening Magazine is going on the road for a week for Children's Hospital. Monday, I'll be at the Clearview Mall in Butler County, so hope to see you there. Good night. Should single parents keep their love life separate from their home life? The Oprah Winfrey Show, Monday at 4 on KDKA TV 2.